Alright, welcome back to Fallout. We are in Vault 88, which is in a bit of disrepair from the look of things. We uh, dug out the passageway there and got access to um, whoever this is here, whose name I've totally forgotten. Here, She's papers is my life's going to talk work. over me, sure. Okay. I'd like to oh, there we go. Overseer, Overseer Barstow. Bron tasked me with something vital. A series of prototypes and their related, well, experiments that could redefine society. But, as you can see, things did not go according to plan. Hello, Ada. <laughs> Jeez. Well, I've seen the kinds of experiments that go on in vaults in these games, so uh, it's probably a good thing they didn't happen. Though I am vaguely curious as to what they are. Alright, let's talk to her, I guess. Ah. What experiments? What are these experiments? Ingenious devices that will improve the efficiency and health of a community. They are admittedly prototypes and may have a design flaw or two. <laughs> but really? nothing that can't be fixed with some elbow grease. Okay. Vault Tech are bastards, let's be honest. Vault Tech destroyed my life. Vault Tech can burn for all I care. Oh, I. Listen, I understand that a former Vault resident could harbor certain feelings. I'll tell you what. These experiments, I will let you run them. If you find anything unconscionable, just don't do it. Or change the parameters of the experiment. I assure you these devices can make people's lives better. Just give me a chance. Hmm. Can you keep the experiments ethical? So these experiments can be run ethically? If you insist on hobbling the prototype's <laughs> potential, yes. You could abide by as many ethical standards as you'd like. I suggest being more open-minded. But the choice will ultimately be yours. Hmm. I don't know. I, I guess we're going to do it. I don't, I don't know that I trust her, but let's go with it. You've got a deal, Overseer. Good. Let's move forward. We cannot begin until I have my Overseer's desk to run the experiments. The information in the desk's terminal will prove vital. I entrust you with the future of our vault. Vault 88. Okay. Build the Overseer's desk. I've actually been warned ahead of time that there are, in fact, two desks you can build, one of which will work, the other she just blatantly ignores, so <laughs> gotta make sure I keep an eye out for that. But uh, yeah, let's just build her a little room <laughs> with a desk in it, how about that? Um, yeah, we'll get rid of that. Shame we can't get rid of him. Should I be recycling some of these or just, like, storing some of them for later? Probably should be. Is this, why is there crap coming through the floor? There's no longer crap coming through the floor. Okay. <laughs> so as soon as I move the floor, it's sparkly clean. Okay, that's interesting. That's uh, <laughs> kind of convenient, I suppose. Didn't I clean that one? Oh, really? The floor comes through on that one. Yeah, okay. Apparently those rocks are permanent. So, we need to make... Basically, I think just make a little hallway right here off the entryway. So what have we got to play with here? Uh, structures. Oh, vault stuff. Let's see, domestic. Okay, basic hallways and stuff. That's fine. We have utility. More basic hallways. <laughs> okay, fine. Oh, okay, stairwells. That'll be useful. Various other bits. Alright. Ooh, big hallways. That is a big hallway. Why would you need that? <laughs> I don't know what you'd be doing down here. You'd need hallways that big. Alright. Uh, rooms. Common. Cafeteria. Clinic. Nursery. Overseer. Oh. Ooh. Nice wood paneling. <laughs> Just to make the overseer feel important. Alright. That'll do. We should probably use those. You would think. But, uh, let's see. I think we need 
need a doorway, a hallway, and a room. <laughs> Tell you what, why don't I do that? And then I will get back to you, save a bit of time here. I will see you again in a minute. Okay, we are back. I have a small <laughs> entryway here. I will clean this all up in between episodes. You don't want to see me fiddling with that. It'll take ages. Um, we have a small, <laughs> small entryway here. And we have a very small <laughs> overseer's office. I had planned to go um, a little more impressive with this, but um, I got a little bit constrained. <laughs> So uh, it's much smaller than it should be. But um, yeah, there was just big walls right here that uh, <clears throat> basically limited how far I could go in this direction. And I'm a little disappointed. I would have figured you'd have a lot more open space or be able to dig areas out for the, the rooms in this vault. But, you know, I guess you take what you can get. So let's just plunk down the desk. First we have to find it. <laughs> I assume under furniture, yes? Um, actually, no, wait. If it's special, is it under the special? Yes, special desk. There we go. So, have it with her back to everybody, because, you know, she's the overseer, of course she would. That... My overseer's desk. It's, oh, apparently I chose the right one. I saw you running over there just stand in the doorway so I couldn't get through. The reason I don't like companions in these games. Are you? Are you coming? Are you just trying to figure out how to get through the maze-like uh, entryway there? Come on. Can I uh, yeah, just, just drag him out of the way? We'll, we'll toss all these guys in a corner at some point. You see? Got your title over the door and everything. I can hardly believe it. My overseer's desk. After all this time. She's very excited just for a desk. I haven't even bothered to decorate the rest of the room yet. It's alright. If she's easily pleased, that makes my life easier. Alright. <clears throat> Give me a chance to consult the desk terminal. Go on. We're waiting on you. This. Please, I beg your indulgence. I've waited so long, but we must not dally. The work compels us. The vault was supposed to have a very specific set of residents. After all, to conduct human trials, you need the perfect test subjects. Really? So what makes perfect test subjects? Healthy. Well, healthy enough. And people we can get an accurate baseline on quickly. And they need a willingness to take on a certain element of risk. Okay. Let's find ourselves a guinea pig. The Vault Tech Handbook urges overseers to refrain from using that word. <laughs> no matter how apt. Turn on the Vault's radio beacon. Certainly, people above ground would give anything to live in our vault. While we wait for word to spread, perhaps you might use this time to explore Vault 88. If you can clear some of the rubble, you may be able to access some of the other building sectors. Any materials or equipment that survived may prove useful in our experiments. Okay. Well, being that our vault consists of an abandoned train station at this point. I don't think there's a lot of point in activating the radio just yet and getting people in here. I will put some construction in in between episodes <laughs> and get a little something here to play with. But uh, in the meantime, I think we are going to go clear some of this rubble and see what we can find. Um, and we could I'll clear out the bodies later. So there's more crap over here. North Sector. Very exciting. Yeah. Oh, shit. Really? I can clear that whole thing? <laughs> wow, okay. But not that. 
I guess we will go this way then. Ada, where are you? She's lost. <laughs> I'm shocked. Alright. She'll catch up. She always does. And yeah, I'm gonna have a gun ready. <laughs> I don't know what's down here. I would think mole rats, rad roaches, probably more ghouls. You would think. Nothing so far, though. Had to say something. Ada, where are you? Ada. They have a shotgun. Ada. Really? A special mole rat? Was that necessary? <laughs> what do you got? Lucky enameled metal left arm. Ooh, that might actually be useful. Plus two luck. Nice. Bottle caps. Oh, now you show up. The fighting's over. You finally decide to join me. What am I doing for armor in this? It's been ages since I looked at any of this. Is it right arm? Lucky laminated synth right arm. What was the other one I just picked up? Lucky enameled metal left arm. Okay, so where's the left arm? <laughs> left arm. Pocketed nanofilament synth left arm. 11 and 14. That one's 12 and 7. Plus 10. Alright, I'm going to go with the lucky one. Plus 2 luck. It's got to be a good thing. And I'm going to quick save. You know, I don't remember how... Ooh, my, my health. I should fix that. There we go. Are you ready this time? Are you coming with me? I mean, I loaded you up with all that armor and weapons for a reason, you know. It, don't spin circles. Just go this way. Follow me. No, this way. Hey, you. Uh, they've got to work on the companion AI in these games, I swear. Okay, before I was interrupted, I was going to check in here. Stim packs. I want the water. I don't need the water. Wonder glue I will take. Turpentine. Not much else. I don't think I need the battery. Still need to keep an eye out for coffee cups. So that I can uh, beef up my power armor. Then we can uh, get back to uh, going after the mechanist. <laughs> which I look forward to doing at some point. Eventually. If I ever manage to gather enough coffee cups. Okay. Got a suspicious looking tunnel. And nothing. Oh, more mole rats, of course. I'm getting low on ammo for that. Ooh, what's this? Duct tape. A wrench. Really? <laughs> Too much? Ada. I need Ada. Come here. If you're not going to fight, you're at least going to help me carry stuff. I'd be happy to help. Um, am I carrying junk? Oh, lots of junk. Let's give her all of that. That's better. Do that. Right away, probably going to be useful in here. And... Hmm. Interesting place. <laughs> Not all that exciting, but... Uh, I don't know what I was expecting to... Ah. That was interesting. Couldn't hit the broad side of a barn there, even though I was pointing directly at him. Hey, what? Let's get sneaky. Oh, shotgun shells. Thank you. Second. Alright. Oh, see another one. Ada. Oh, look at that aim. That wasn't that awesome aim. Maybe I'll <laughs> use the scope. Wow! Has my aim suddenly gotten worse or something? Did I take an arm injury? <laughs> What's going on? Silver pocket watch. I'll take that. Thanks. Oops. Yeah, give me that. That's strange. I just that pistol just seems suddenly so much more inaccurate than it used to be. Maybe I'm just. Uh, maybe I've had too much time away from these games. I don't know. Maybe I've been playing too many of the wrong games in between episodes. Okay, well, that was another guy over there. Still having trouble hitting anything. That's a lot of uh, radiation over there. 
Give me that. Hey. Is there anything in here? Probably. All right, I'll risk it. Take Perfect. Oh. Vault Tech Control Board North Sector. Okay, we found something important, I guess. I have no idea. Oh, jeez. Uh, that's for you. Ah, crap! I got something better I can use. Not that. Yeah, there we go. That's what I need. Oh, they're probably resistant to energy damage, aren't they? Yeah, that's probably a good point. I could take out his legs. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, crap. Take it. There we go. Now what are you going to do? Not much. He's going to sit there and look at me. There we go. Uh, Goose Slayer's pack right arm. I don't think I'll be using that, but I'll take it. Flamer fuel, of course. Why not? Uh, bottle cap. Plastic knife you can keep. Okay, so is there anything else in here I need to know about? I got enough Radaways to check it out, I think. Just checking. <laughs> you never know in this game. Okay, I think that's it. Is there anything? Nope. Nothing. Okay. Get out of here before I start glowing green. Quick save, because apparently we found something important. Hmm. Not much in the way of impressive loot, but... Whoa, rads. Ada, catch up. <laughs> She's slow. I expect there'd be something in here. This big open space like this, there must be more mole rats, I would think. As long as that's all that is, I mean, <laughs> as long as they don't run into like a death claw down here or something, I guess we're all right. And that being the case, why am I even sneaking? <laughs> why do I care? They're mole rats. Radix, keep the rest. Nothing? Huh, yeah, okay. I expected more from a big open room like this. I wonder if you could actually extend through tunnels into areas like this, just that big long hallways in your vault. I kind of doubt it. <laughs> I think you were probably limited to that uh, little open space in the uh, entryway there, but, you know, I would hope there's more to it than that. I mean, yeah, we can clear out those trains and whatnot, I'm sure, but I'd like more space to play with. I'd like to be able to get a little bit creative with the layout. Uh, an ammo bucket, actually, would be good to take. I left one of those behind earlier, didn't I? Cigarette, or cigarette, uh, ashtray. Take that. Do I need cotton yarn? I don't think so. Ooh. Take that, that. And we'll take the money. At some point I may end up using the junk jet again and, uh, flinging money at people's faces. No, I want the glowing one. Thank you. Okay. Hmm. Huh. Came from the other direction, right? <laughs> I think we're going the right way. Low torch, sure. Why not? It's quiet. <laughs> Is that another one of those blockages? It is. I'm on the wrong side of it to get rid of it. Yep. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, that kind of sucks. Do I have to go all the way back around and then take that down from the other side? Apparently I will. That seems a little short-sighted on the design. Maybe it's just me. I guess we're going to have to just walk all this way. Gives me a chance to drink some root beer, though. That's probably why my aim is so bad. I haven't had any root beer yet this morning. You would think in a game where they really encourage you to have companions, they would uh, improve them a bit. Fix the AI, fix the pathfinding. Make sure that uh, they never stand in a doorway arch for any reason at all. Because most people, that seems to be the problem, is that just whatever they're doing, there's always uh, the companion standing in a doorway when they're trying to go somewhere. I know that's the problem I always have with them. 
but uh, you would think that would be simple to fix. You just make it so they're never allowed to stop moving within a doorway. You'd think that would solve a lot of problems. <laughs> I could be wrong. Where are we? Must be getting close, right? <laughs> Seems like a very long trek with very few enemies to make it exciting. It's a shame there's no... Uh... Really? That was a neat trick. Alright. I think we're back now. So, I guess we'll go check over in this direction. I assume that's where it will be. I guess I could be running during all of this, couldn't I? <laughs> Make things go a little quicker. I wonder if she'll ever actually get out of that desk now that she's got it. She seems so happy to find that, or to have that built for her. Ooh, wait. Coffee cup. Coffee cup. Damn it. <laughs> Picked up everything but the damn coffee cup. This game hates me, I swear. Alright, ooh. Take that. Oh, really? Hey, come here. Hey. Yes, sir. Be useful. Take all the stuff. Yes, all of it. Here we go. No, oh, I guess I could give her some of that ar spare armor hey. I'm carrying, yes. too. That would help. Uh, that one... Whatever I'm not wearing, basically. There we go, that helps. Quick save. <laughs> Let's see. Can we unblock that tunnel? I'm assuming this... This is probably the way to wherever we just were, right? Claim that. Hmm, I can't... can't tell. <clears throat> Ada, let's go. Man, she gets behind. And she's here to help me with the combat, <clears throat> you would think she would uh, stay near enough to actually be involved in it from time to time. Apparently not. Okay, that's interesting looking. Half-finished vault pieces. Are you coming? Yeah, she is. Slowly, but no, no. She's changing her mind. This looks like a good spot to be ambushed. But I don't see anything. Level up. <laughs> you, you take care of him. It'll be fine. Where'd they go? Oh, I see. She's fighting him on the stairs. Put some effort in. Turn your keep for once. Are they done? I guess not. I've lost them, sir. Lost them. That little thing? Not really anything except there's still another one somewhere. Ah! Careful, sir. You. <laughs> there we go. It's the last one. You sure? All right. Four shots left on the shotgun. She's found more. Apparently, it wasn't the last one. Ooh, grenades. I was happy to find grenades. I am aware of that, thank you. She needs to have more lines to say so she doesn't keep repeating the blatantly obvious. Alright. That's good. Keep moving. What do we got back here? Anything? I don't think there's anything here. Nope, nothing. Huh, interesting. Not gonna ask. That's a lot of ceramic. Shame I can't take that. Okay. Looks like another wall. Can I? Nope. Can't do anything with it. It's just there for decoration, I guess. What do we got? Duct tape. I'll always take the duct tape. Northeast sector. Right away. Are you coming? Sort of. She may catch up if she feels like it. If there's some kind of life-threatening uh, situation, she may bother to notice. Ah, now. Of course, it's a special one. She was actually useful that time. What do you know? What do you got? Troubleshooter's 10mm auto pistol. 
So do fifty percent more against robots. I don't really care, <laughs> to be honest. That's not enough of a bonus to make me uh, use that weapon. I need something more interesting, like you know, explosive bullets or uh, you know, stuff like that. We got enough with the creepy always. <laughs> Seriously. All right. More glowy stuff. Ah! Have that. That works. Are there more? Yes, there is. And it's green. And it's dead. Hmm. Don't think I want to eat meat from anything that was glowing green. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. <laughs> Seems like a bad idea. Stairs in the hallway. Alright. Check the stairs first. Huh. Ah, hi there. Sit down, all of you. <laughs> okay. Ammo. There's more. <laughs> They're above me. Are they coming down the stairs? Oh, they're up there. Okay. Um, take that. Give me that. Hey, there we go. Duct tape. My onboard functions are operating at full capacity. Oh, that's a load off my mind. Thank you. We got. We have a blocked wall. Can't see anything in there, but I assume they're in there. Oh, wait. I can see through there. Yep, they're there. What is the point of a room I can't get into? Can't demolish that door. Or that wall, I should say. I don't see any other way to access that room. Huh. Maybe we get access to it later on. I don't know. Anyway. I think, unfortunately, we're out of time for now, so we'll have to pick this up again next time. Maybe in between episodes I'll actually sneak back to uh, the vault there and do a bit of construction and come back out here <laughs> to pick up where we leave off. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Ooh, I leveled up. Let's do that while I'm thinking of it. What do we got? Um, I don't know what we need at this point, really. Um... Lone Wanderer. Not doing me much good right now, but I do like that skill. 25% more damage, yeah. And armor might be good for uh, working on the uh, power armor. Don't need this yet. What is that? Science. Probably a good thing to have, actually. Or the sneakiness. <laughs> or we could set up shops. Man, so much stuff, and I don't know... There's nothing I really desperately need right at this minute, unfortunately. Which makes the decisions all that much more difficult. Bobby pins never break. I have so many bobby pins that that would never be an issue. Let's, um... Maybe just that one. Engaging stealth causes distant enemies to lose you. I kind of like the sound of that. Let's go with that. It's not going to do me much good with her stomping around behind me, but... When we finish the Mechanist quest, and I kick her to the curb, I can get back to being sneaky and stealthy again, and uh, that will come in handy. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Hope you had fun. I will see you again next time.